In today's Midday Fix, we are making crepes. Luke Moch Mochkaluski. I, I butchered that. I'm sorry Not about great. that. The owner of Crepe Crave and Wicker Park, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Crepes have become huge in the last right. probably five years. Why is that? Uh, they're so they're very versatile. versatile yes. You can pretty much put anything in there, and they're they're very yummy. They're good, basically. You can have savory. You can have sweet. Yeah. But you can, first, you need the crepe. Right. You need which the crepe. Basically... Starts with the crepe. Is just uh, some basic batter. All Start right. with that. And let's, uh, let's, uh, how do you, how do you make crepes? I I am intimidated by making crepes. I usually buy them prepackaged at the store. And uh, you don't want to do that. It's not that hard. It takes All a little right. bit of practice, well, but it's not that us? hard. So. For the batter, you start with some milk, about two and two-thirds cups of milk. Okay. Then you add about half a cup of water. Mm -hmm. Then you go with uh, flour, about three cups of flour, four eggs. You want to whisk those really well so they, you know, they, they mix really well. All right. A little bit of salt, probably one teaspoon, and, a, and about five tablespoons of butter. Okay. You mix that all together. You want to get a consistency of about like honey, something like that, maybe right. just a little bit thinner. All right. Yeah, and so, you have a fancy crepe maker here. You yeah, don't need to have one here. of these. Though, you do don't you? need one of those, but you can pick one of these up for about a little bit over $100. That's do you have to have the batter sit at all? Yeah, it's a good idea to get, let it sit at least two hours. Okay. It kind of works together, works just, so it's, it's much smoother and it's, it's better. It's not necessary, but it's better. All right, so. show me this. This is what I'm intimidated by is making them and making sure that they don't rip. Right. This is the griddle here. We use something like this at the restaurant, which okay. is a, a little bit bigger at the restaurant, though. But you can pick this up for about $100, $120. Okay. If, you, if you're really into crepes and you spin them just like this on here, you want to get all the batter spread out very evenly, get like a nice thin crepe going for you. Uh, but uh, if you don't have that at home, you don't want to spend the money, you can just use, use a nice shallow pan or even a skillet if you have to. Okay. And just move it around side to side, get the better distributed nicely so you get a nice thin crepe as well. All right. With this, you know, it cooks really quick. It's really hot, so you only give... You want, only need about 15, 20 seconds on <laughs> you each side. You have a side. lot of practice. I would have torn that right Yeah, there. it takes a little bit of practice. <laughs> pick it up, but it's fun learning. So that's right. something you can do with the family. So it's really, it's exciting. And the other side, you only you need less time, about 10 seconds maybe, and it's pretty okay. much ready. All right. And the way we do it like this, just keep it on the griddle here, and we top off with all the ingredients. So what I'm going to make for you guys today here is uh, egg florentine. Okay, great. One of our most popular crepes, breakfast crepes, like Crepe Crave. Start with a little bit of uh, Swiss cheese. I'm going to put on there a little bit of uh, roasted turkey breast. And you don't want to overload these things. No, either. you don't want too much because we're going to fold it. So it's basically you get three layers of whatever you put on there. All so right. you don't want too much. If you want to help me out, put some spinach sure. maybe on there. So we got baby spinach on there. We need to tear it up at all? No, just throw it on there just like right. that. It'll I'll cook a little bit on the griddle right. here. So it's, uh, it's going to turn out just perfect. Sure. A little bit of aroma tomatoes. And we have an egg here that I pre-made. You usually want to make that fresh. Eggs you want okay. fresh, but you can you know, use two. I made this a minute ago, so the it's still pretty fresh. The miracle of television. We can just right. have an egg ready for us. Just like that, and you fold it. You want to get a nice little triangular okay. fold like this. Fold it into a nice little pocket. Flip it around. And what we do is uh, flip it a couple times so it uh, warms up okay. all the ingredients inside. Right. And then you're ready to go. A couple minutes maybe on each side. All the stuff warms up, cooks a little bit inside and you're ready to go with that. Now, you have savory crepes, but some of my favorite are the sweet crepes. Uh, tell us the different varieties that you can have. Uh, I see you have a jar of Nutella here, which is one yeah, of Yeah, Nutella is the most popular one. It's like, if you haven't had a Nutella crepe, see you later at Crepe Crepe, you got to try one. And that's just it's, a spread made of chocolate and, uh, hazel, and hazelnuts. Hazelnuts, hazelnuts and milk chocolate. And is, that's right is, here. Yeah, it's right there. Finished product, that's what it looks like. There's Nutella inside, some strawberries, bananas, a little bit of powdered sugar topped off with some whipped cream. It's our most popular crepe, hands down. It's excellent. You can make it very easily at home, just, just like here. We got it laid out over here. So if you wanted to make a crepe, let's say, with Nutella okay. and strawberries, you want to warm up the Nutella a little bit. You can pop it in the microwave oven for a little bit or All just right. keep it by a warm gri griddle like over here. And we get the perfect consistency, and you just drizzle it nicely on there, just now, like that. Now, if we that. want to make crepes at home, you need some special, specialized uh, equipment in order not to screw them up too much. How much, it, how much is it going to cost to get a basic... Uh, a basic equipment for this. Yeah, well, if you want to get go pro, pretty much, yeah. you can get one of these. So you're <laughs> yeah. looking at about $120. Okay. If you don't want to spend that much, you can just get a nice thin uh, shallow skillet. You can pick that up for probably $20, $30. All right. And that's pretty much all you need. Then a mixer to make the batter or a hand mixer would work as well. And you're on your way. So it's not that hard. It's much easier than people think. All right, Luke, thank you very much. Appreciate it. This looks delicious. Uh, Crepe Crave is in Wicker Park, 1752 West North Avenue. You can go to crepecrave.com. We'll also put a link up for you at wgntv.com slash midday. We'll be right back.